Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you all for being here today. And I want to welcome again Commissioner Giuliani and uh, Commissioner Desnett Lehman, uh, as well as OPM Secretary McCall. This is one of our short meetings. <laughs> but as we've heard repeatedly from you all is the fact that this is an alternative revenue source. And with the incredible number of gantries and the presentation of financial solutions to our obvious transportation challenges, I really worry whether we have the courage to not divert this money <laughs> into other areas as they arise. And, and I, I think the general public's lack of trust and confidence in the legislature, as well as past administrations, and even currently with the diversion of the, the dealer car taxes from the STF transportation fund, is just an example that the fact is, once this gets put in, and we're talking over and over again about revenue, that it's going to feed the beast that just has not been stopped. And, and so I, I, I really worry about that. And, and I, I'm really concerned that you know we're been presenting this uh, polling issue as a infrastructure transportation fix. But I'm extremely concerned that there has been no guarantee, even despite the lockbox, that this will not be diverted and it's not an alternative source of revenue. Saying that, I just actually have a couple questions. I'm very sensitive of time. So rather than calling it a, a tolling bill, wouldn't it be more appropriate to call this a mileage tax with gantries and, and the, the segue to ensure that people don't jump on and off and, and the fact that it is a revenue source? You know, usually when I think of tolling, it's to fix a bridge. It's to create a new road. This is a comprehensive revenue source to kind of fix a catch-all. Because right now, we don't have any prioritization from 1 to 10. We've got a five-year plan, but we don't have a real prioritization laid out that says, we're doing this one, we're doing this two, we're doing this three. So what would you say to that? that we should start calling this a mileage tax instead of just simply a tolling bill? Well, the, the representative who spoke before I wanted to come around and say that it was an actual fee for, for utilization. And I want to hit both of your, your statements. One, I, I already told you that I have FHWA here in the room, and they would also tell you they'll be the first ones to come after us if we were ever to take this funding and not use it in the corridors for which the, the, the tolls are being generated. It has to be done that way. It's the federal rules that are on it. The second part that I would turn and tell you is that from the standpoint that this money also uh, is to be utilized for congestion mitigation. If we're not proving that we're doing that, then we are not going to get the approval to be able to go and do this going forward. So that's part of what has to go in. So um, in terms of it all, you know, the, the other part of your question in terms of the, the lockbox, I can't talk about what happened in the past, but I'm here with the OPM secretary who will also confirm for you whether or not there is, you know, uh, a, an, any sort of an intent to not be transparent on this and say where this money is going for. Sure. Uh, the, it is clearly the, um, as stated publicly, as stated in the written documents, and if it needs additional okay. solidifying, That's the goal is that this, the, the intent is that these dollars would be expressly used for infrastructure. I, I think your points are very valid. Um, obviously, you know, four to eight years from now, there could potentially be a different governor in office. Perhaps the beautiful faces across the table will be different faces. Um, the piece of what um, Commissioner Gilletti and stated that gives me the most assurance, and certainly you'll see a different OPM secretary here as well, um, but um, <laughs> would be that the, in order to comply with the application and the documents with the federal government, we could not do what you're describing. And so um, that is the piece that I hope would give our, our taxpayers and our residents greater assurance, the fact that we would be out of compliance with the federal government if we were to do what was described. Thank you, but, but you can see the reservation that people have. I mean, I go back to, I wasn't here, but just as you stated, 20 plus years ago, the income tax was going to solve all of our problems. But unfortunately, despite record tax increases, we still don't have enough money 
to fund our basic critical services in our state, not to mention our infrastructure. With that said, I, I think the other question is, the common refrain in our district is the fact that people are frustrated sitting in traffic on the Merritt Parkway or 95 or waiting for delayed trains. And with all the inconsistencies of what we have in, in century old bridges, this toll or mileage tax, if implemented, won't solve that within a year, will it? Because that's the presentation down in my district that as people are suffering and sitting in traffic, you put in tolls, it's going to solve that congestion. It's going to solve the rail inefficiencies. But you won't see that in the first year, will you? You won't see that in five years, will you? Tell me, will we see that in five years, one year, ten years? To turn around, first off, you, you've already seen the report that we don't even see the money start coming in until 2024. But what it does change, okay, is our economic forecast and what we do know will be coming in. So therefore, we're able to work with the, the, the department on those projects that we know just letting those projects go is going to be a year's worth of planning, a year's worth of setting up, so we can start on those projects knowing that we have that revenue stream coming in. So the answer is, yeah, you're not going to see anything completed in a year, but what you will see is the initiation of projects that we now will be able to go forward with, and we can now come back and to say to each one of you, these are the projects that are going to be able to go forward in your district, and to come back in, as somebody challenged me with, that I better have a priority prioritization of my plans, okay, the prioritization of those projects based on the funding levels that will come in. That's a much more positive note than what we have right now in front of us, and that's the way I would respond. And I hear you on that, and, and I know that the glacial pace of improvement takes forever. Um, and, and having drive, driven the Merritt Parkway with the road expansion, that's been literally a eight-year road work. But that being said, I, I just want to add that. So it's important to make people aware that tolling will not solve their immediate congestion, frustration in two years, in five years. That's important because we hear quite a bit that tolling is going to solve all of your frustrations. And, and I just want to be clear that this is not happening for the next five plus years before any improvements can be seen, whether there's tolling or not. Correct? I, th I think the right way of saying it is that funding is what is necessary. What we're looking at is various ways of providing the funding because without funding, there is no answers in the next five years. What we're looking at is ways of presenting. I was challenged when I came in here to come back to this legislature and offer at various levels of what, when the governor mentioned tolling, what that tolling revenue c would bring in. To me, at the end of the day, it's you're right. It's not to say that it's tolling. It's to come up with the funding that is necessary to move the state and move our projects forward. Tolling happens to be the one that we a study already began. We already have good knowledge base on it, good understanding of it, and we know what the projections are for it. So that's what allows us to move forward. And I appreciate that. And you're Senator, Senator, if we could just please summarize, we do need to get on to others. Happily. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So I, I will simply say to this, uh, you're right. We have a difference of opinion in regards to the funding mechanism. I'm looking at it from a standpoint of prioritized progress, the ability to bond. I, I, as I've learned in school, infrastructure commitments are the best rationale for bonding on a long-term usage basis. That being said, I will respect the Chairman's time, and I think we'll have further discussions about this. But again, thank you very much for all being here. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Uh, next up, Representative.